Hi there, Gemini and Gemini Rising. Welcome to your April 2015 Rune Scope with me. My name is Amanda. Do remember to check out the video for your rising sign as well. That can oftentimes be more specific than this very general sun sign reading as your rising sign is more specific to your chart than your sun sign. Of course, the only way to get a reading only for you and all about any issues or areas of concern you may have is to schedule an appointment with me. I do consultations on Skype. It's $65 for a 30 minute session. Just drop me a line at the email address in this video or below this video if you wanna set up an appointment. If you're on a mobile device, you'll need to just tap the little arrow under this video and that will open the details section and you should be able to find all of my information in there. I did also want to mention I will be offering another online rune class for beginners. That's going to be June 1st through July 10th. So if that's something you're interested in, definitely drop me a line at that same email address and I can send you the, uh, the details about that and get you signed up. Uh, it's $185 for the six week course. It is completely online, but you do need to be able to devote at least four or five hours to it per week because uh, there are homework assignments and, and lectures. So. If that's something you're interested in, let me know. But let's jump into April for Gemini's. Let's see what's gonna be going on with the twins here. Yeah. Quite a handful, Gemini. A lot going on in April. Gemini in April may be on a balance of power in a relationship or in a situation. You may feel that you have been taken advantage of in some way and it will be different for all of you. Some of, it, some of you it may be monetarily, maybe time, maybe you feel like somebody's wasting your time or has wasted your time or uh, you know has taken advantage of your skills or abilities on the job. Uh, maybe somebody hired you and then, you know, maybe you had a job and then they laid you off quickly after that. So you, you know, you feel like you, or maybe you got into a situation where the, a job wasn't what it was cracked up to be. It was very different from the job description when you applied. So yeah, it could be something where you feel like somebody took advantage of you or really, um, you know, didn't tell you all the facts here because we do have... Uh, the Six of Pentacles here, and in the reverse, it can indicate somebody's generosity be, you know, being uh, abused or, uh, you know, kind of be in a take, take, take uh, situation. Now, for some of you, this may involve um, a male who is really just not motivated. So this could be your son. Maybe this is your son who's living with you or uh, a son that wants to move back in, uh, you know, could be because he's really just not motivated to get a job or or uh, find a career direction I you know um, some people in their 20s can be kind of uh, directionless especially these days because jobs are pretty hard to come by uh, but or this could just be you know it doesn't have to be somebody taking advantage of you again monetarily this could be somebody that you feel wasted your time so maybe it was a romantic interest who's just you know maybe he never shows up on time he's never uh, he doesn't seem as invested as you do uh, and I would not mess with a Gemini schedule if I were this guy. I'll just tell you right now. You do not want to piss off a Gemini uh, and mess up their daily schedule. Because um, they, you know, they have their routine and they're very busy and social. And, you know, if you mess that up, I feel sorry for this guy, quite honestly. Because <laughs> I feel like, you know, you may be... Uh, you may be talking to him. I actually know you're going to be talking to this person, whoever this is. doesn't have to be a male, but for most of you, it is presenting as a, a male. Again, could be a masculine female uh, or, uh, or a woman who, who also is, uh, you know, disrupting your life with their laziness, essentially. Because this, this uh, rune in reverse is, uh, has to do with laziness. Uh, this can also be somebody who's having, uh, there may be somebody who has a bit of a health issue. Um, and Gemini, I'm sorry to tell you in April, maybe, you know, it could be that you get a bug or, or you are, you know, kind of maybe something flares up 
and uh, you know, just out of nowhere, you're doing fine. Uh, be careful uh, it, it, with activities like at the gym or whatever you do for fitness or those of you who um, you know are, are outside doing activities because I feel like some of you may uh, you know this could be a sprained ankle or so just kind of you know take note of that and, and be careful going up and down stairs and uh, watch watch where you because sometimes we, we got in a hurry you know and we're, we were so thinking about I have to go here and there and thinking about our daily routine and then your routine keeps coming up Gemini but yeah you um, you can trip over your own feet or, or not see something in your way. So just be uh, a little more aware of that, Gemini. Try, if you find yourself not paying attention to your surroundings uh, in April, do try to, uh, to correct that when you catch yourself doing that. So that, you know, because um, some of you may, you know, you may have an accident on the job or uh, you may have had an accident on the job and you're trying to get maybe workman's compensation benefits or, or something like that regarding uh, an accident that happened on the job. That's another way this can work. Um, or maybe your health was affected by something on the job. I'm getting the word asbestos and this could be affecting this guy. It could be somebody close to you that it's affecting and is going through this, trying to get compensation for you know, some kind of health issue or, or bills, medical bills that he incurred because of something that happened on the job or something caused by chemicals or, or some kind of unsafe conditions on the job. So um, it may not be you, Gemini. Again, there are so many of you I'm talking to. It's going to be different for all of you. But um, it does seem that this is something that will come up in April um, and demand your attention for at least a little while. But um, and I, I feel like you will, this is something you're kind of handling alone for a lot of you. I don't feel like you're sharing it with other people right now. You may later, but in April, you may just be kind of, um, you know, trying to work it out in your own head. You're not ready to share uh, certain things with other people. Uh, you know, maybe you're not even ready to talk to this person if it's the situation where it's someone who's letting you down. Maybe you're not ready to confront them yet. You're, maybe you're going to give him one more shot. <laughs> you're going to give this uh, this uh, lazy person one more shot to step up and uh, do their work, do their part. Um, to to balance out this relationship, whether it be romantic or like, you know, a, a parent-child relationship. Uh, a sibling relationship, a friendship, whatever this is, uh, you're going to give them one more shot. But they don't know they're getting one more shot. It's almost like you're like, yeah, I'm going to, this is your last time. Uh, I'm not going to tell you that. I'm just going to see if you F it up. But <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to give you one more chance at the, uh, at being in, uh, in my life here. And, you know, uh, that's up to you. If you do tell this person, then of course, you know, it's not really, you're not really going to see, you know, because they might, you know, knowing that there's going to be consequences, they might really put on a good show and step up their game, but that their heart's not in it. They're just doing it uh, so that they can keep you around, so that they, they can keep sucking your time or borrowing money from you or <laughs> however this is that, you know, this person's taking from you, Gemini. So um, I think in April, you are, uh, you may be running a little test of your own. Now, some of you may feel, you may be feeling a little paranoid that you're being talked about either by family or uh, some sort of group, maybe friends or uh, co-workers in a work situation. And you may, that may be uh, what you're trying to draw out. You may be trying to find some stuff out. You may be doing some undercover investigations or some eavesdropping. <laughs> They're showing me eavesdropping or clever ways of finding out information, because that would sue you, Gemini. Very clever ways of having a casual conversation with the receptionist to find out if, uh, you know, certain people had uh, mentioned you or, <laughs> you know. Uh, you have really, really clever ways of using your communication to, to find out what you need to know. So some of you may be doing that in April. Um, the help that's gonna be available to you is coming up as the Knight of Pentacles. So this is normally uh, an earth sign person, uh, Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. Uh, he's presenting as a knight. He, you know, he, 
So for most of you, I do feel like he will be male, but doesn't have to be. Knights are, nor are normally pretty young. So they're normally in their late teens or early 20s. Maybe it's this same guy. Maybe the, maybe the one that been, has been kind of lazy, uh, you know, and you know he has the potential because he's coming up as a knight in the, uh, you know, uh, upright here with the tarot. So, um, so yeah, this may be good news coming to you regarding money. You may uh, find out that you are uh, going to be getting a raise or a steady increase. Something the nights, uh, you know, are all about movement and change and news. So I do feel like positive news about money will be coming to you in April. So some of you may be getting a raise in April or find out what it's going to be for, uh, you know, the summer months or uh, the rest of the springtime here. Or you may find out that you've sold something. You may there may be some buying and selling going on here. If th those of you that are into stocks and bonds or that sort of thing, I'm really out of my depth talking about that. If they give me any words, I'll pass them along to you. But uh, yeah, some of you may be some of you may be adjusting your 401k. Another little mundane aspect that goes along uh, with the Knight of Pentacles. But he could be a real person. I mean, he could be somebody in your life who is really actually smart and bright and practical, good with numbers, good with money. Uh, so, I mean, if it is this guy, I do feel like, you know, you're going to, maybe he's been kind of mooching off you and you're going to be like, look, you're smart. You, you can go out there and do anything you want to do. And you need to start using your gifts to, to take care of yourself. You need to get on your own two feet here. Um, so, uh, I do think that while you may give this person one more chance, I, I think eventually you're going to, you know, if they fail again, which he, you know, for many of you, it does seem that he will. Uh, you're gonna have that conversation and just be like, look, you need to make more of an effort here. You need to put in more work. Um, if it's a relationship, a, a romantic relationship, you'd be like, look, you know, I, I can't keep um, changing my schedule to accommodate dates for somebody who doesn't show up or I need somebody who is far more reliable. So I need you, if you wanna stay in this relationship, I need you to show up, literally and figuratively. <laughs> So, um, you know, and I'm not, you know, some of this may be a bit of a back and forth. There may be a bit of an argument, but, you know, confrontation is necessary sometimes, Gemini, to, to get us to uh, a resolution. But you are going to feel guided in this. So if you are unsure about when to bring this up, when to broach this topic, I do think a lot of you will feel very guided um, to know, like, okay, this is the right time to do it. This person may even bring it up himself. So he may even just kind of bring up a nice segue and you'll be like, by the way, by the by, about that, uh, Gemini. And uh, so, yeah, you really do need to express this because otherwise I feel like it could build and build to more resentment because there's already some resentment at the beginning of April here about what's going on. Now, those of you that this is a legal case, a legal settlement type of situation, again, going back to kind of this workman's comp or uh, any lawsuit issues, um, this could be good news coming to you about a settlement or good news coming to you about, you know, being able to get the money to pay back these bills or, or to pay those off. So uh, there's good money news coming in uh in april even if somebody has been maybe this is somebody you loaned money to and they never paid you back maybe you will work out or, or get some of it back and work out a payment schedule um with this person so uh whatever if, if any issues surrounding money there there do seem to be resolutions at hand in april for you gemini uh what can't be changed is that uh, with the ace of swords you're definitely going to get a new idea about a way to handle anyone who's not again pulling their weight who's taking advantage of you who's being selfish you are going to find a new approach and maybe that's why you don't immediately again kind of make it known or bring it up you may be doing things covertly like I said before, to gain more information or more understanding about the situation. And, uh, but I, I, yeah, there's going to be a new idea gained from that information of a way to handle this. And, and it could be the thing that kind of just blows the doors off of this relationship in a good way. Or really maybe kind of wakes this person up because, you know, we all come into each other's lives for as tests. Uh, to some extent, some people only come into our lives to teach us something or to learn something from us. So I feel like you are teaching in this capacity, Gemini, a lot of you. 
Um, now, of course, these energies can always work both ways. So in some cases, Gemini, some of you could be, make sure it's not you taking advantage of someone and not showing up in a relationship in some way or, or abusing someone else's generosity. Because if it is you, they'll call you to task for it in April. But I, I do feel like for most of you, this is, uh, this is somebody else, somebody male and younger or behaving in a young way, immature way. But uh, I don't know why, but they're showing me a harp. I don't know if any of you play harps. <laughs> I don't know if it's maybe not an actual instrument, but a company called Harp or Harps, or uh, I think that's an, a, a company of um, that makes things for animals, flea and tick collars or something. I don't know why that's coming up. I really do not know why that's going up, but um, maybe some of you are suing a, a company for, uh, maybe it was a pet that got sick. Uh, that can be another way this could work. So. Um, just throwing that out there because they were giving it to me. Um, for those of you that it's not that, I, I do feel like this this divine help may be coming from your angels because we often associate harps with our with our guardian angels. So I do feel like whatever you're pulled to do, um, or whatever difficulties you may be encountering with a with a relationship situation in April, you're going to be very strongly protected and guided to make the right decisions in April. So trust your feelings, Gemini. Again, you, to do that, you really have to divorce yourself from your head and the analytical side of it, which can be difficult for all of you air signs. But it's worth it to, to really just kind of go in the direction you're being pulled. You know, focus here. Focus where you're being pulled, what you're being pulled to do there, um, and shut this down, uh, at least for the moment. And that will give you the clear direction. There is a new beginning coming from whatever this disappointment is. So whoever has disappointed you or whatever the situation, if it's been difficult and just one hurdle after another, again, if you've had medical bills and things like that, I do feel like it's going to pay off, you know. So um, if you've been disappointed in someone else, I do feel like you can fix this relationship. You can turn over a new leaf and start a new beginning. Some of you may be getting engaged <laughs> or be, maybe attending a wedding or some kind of celebration in April because we have the Ten of Cups with Gifu and uh, and Ing. So, yeah, for some of you, this could be a pregnancy. You may find out you're pregnant. Uh, you know, and with the Ten of Cups, that means you would find out in April rather than conceive or, or find out that someone is pregnant or find out that someone's engaged and getting married in April. So, uh, yeah, there could be a big celebration or a family get together of some sort. Maybe you're getting together with, uh, loved ones for Easter, uh, or Good Friday or on that weekend celebrating. Um, maybe there's a birthday celebration, an anniversary celebration in April. So I, I that's going to be kind of the bright spot in April. I do think there is going to be, um, family joy, uh, some sort of, um, just where you really feel that you belong. And some of you, if Gemini is your rising sign and you are in Aries or a Taurus, you may be getting gifts in April because, uh, and some really good ones. But yeah, there can be a moving forward or the or a new level of commitment in a partnership. So those of you that are in relationships, you could be going to a different level. And if you're married, you could just be uh, maybe you're celebrating your anniversary or you're going to be um, going somewhere together and celebrating something for someone else, but it will still be, um, maybe you're celebrating that you're finding out you're pregnant <laughs> or finding out that your significant other is pregnant. But either way, April ends on a very positive note. And uh, so you have all these new beginnings around. And the, and the one thing that's maybe not working you're not going to be paying attention to, or, or it's not, you're going to be like, okay, well, I'll deal with that next month. <laughs> um, any opportunities that maybe don't come in April, I do feel like they're going to come in in May because it's just, it's not quite ready yet. So if you end April kind of waiting on, you may be like, okay, yes, I have this wonderful celebration and, um, or we just got engaged or, you know, we had this wonderful anniversary celebration or we just got married but we haven't found the right house yet. I mean, you know, you can worry about that in May 
<laughs> whatever still, whatever loosened uh, is there at the end of April, Gemini, again, turn off that analytical side and just enjoy the moment, live in the present. Um, because I feel like whatever that is that you, you wanted to maybe accomplish in April but didn't quite pan out, you'll be able to, to take care of in May. So that is what I see. Gemini, good luck with everything, and I'll see you back here in May.